Hello, everybody. It's November 22nd here aboard uh, Great American 4 in the South Atlantic. It's a beautiful day outside, but uh, this is the anniversary of a day on board the original Great American that was not so beautiful. And uh, it was 26 years ago today that Steve Pett and Gallo and I were on board time ran at 60, foot, 60 feet uh, Great American on our first voyage, San Francisco to Boston by Cape Horn for a school program for Sites Alive. And we were capsized 400 miles west of Cape Horn and the sea is officially estimated at 65 feet and 20 meters. We had 80 knots of wind on the anemometer before they stopped working. And we had been sailing for three days before that without sails under bare poles, dragging a thousand feet of line to slow the boat down. And that was Thanksgiving Day. And we were capsized uh, in the middle of the morning. An hour and a half later, the boat was recapsized, thrown back upright by a way, first maritime history, as far as anybody's heard, and <laughs> dismasted, uh, boat filled with water. 17 hours after that, New, uh, New Zealand Pacific, cargo ship from Wellington, New Zealand, found us in the middle of the night, and sea is still running about 45 feet, we were able to rescue us in the dark of night, an incredible effort by the captain and crew of that ship. Um, I wrote a story about that for Sail Magazine back then, we put it up on our website today, uh, in memory of that event, and in honor of the captain and crew of New Zealand Pacific for their skill and daring and expertise in pulling that off so long ago and in such terrible conditions. I'm uh, very pleased to say that Marty Lister, who was chief mate aboard the New Zealand Pacific, is serving as one of our team of experts for the school program. And uh, he can tell the story from his side of, of the gulf between the two ships. Uh, so anyway, we, we just wanted to make note of that today. Beautiful day here, but not so beautiful 26 years ago. But uh, captain and crew of that ship held to the highest standards of maritime tradition to go to the aid of a mariner in distress, putting themselves and their ship at risk and trying to save us. And they did save us. So we were able to sail another day. So that web, <coughs> the link will be up on our website, siteslive.com. And uh, it's worth a read, I think, to see the details of what occurred back then. So thanks very much, and give a good thought to merchant mariners around the world today.